Hello everybody, Aaron Stark here. So it's been a really intense week or two with the shooting in Texas and then the 25 or so that have followed across the country. And I've done some thinking on it. And I think that one thing that we need to notice is the toxic subculture of information that's happening in the world. Okay, so <clears throat> we look at all of these various shootings and all of the attacks and most of them most of them seem to be tied to various toxic subcultures whether it be reddit or 4chan or whatever it is youtube um, the uh, the extreme groups they suck people in because at the heart of it, everybody at the end of the day just wants to be told that you're okay. I mean, we all just want to be held and told you're a good person. And if the person telling you that you're a good person is telling you that by also telling you that you're only a good person if that person pays, or in order to be a good person you have to be terrible, then you're going to be the best terrible you can be. You're going to become the best monster. As I really think is what happened with this last shooting in Texas. It seemed like he wanted to become the best monster with between the self-harm and all that. And I see it a lot. I see it a lot with various all the a lot of a lot of the shootings, from Elliot Rogers and the incels to the San Bernardino shootings to the the Buffalo with the white supremacy toxic subcultures. People trying to fi fill in themselves to make themselves complete and finding positive reinforcement to make themselves feel complete and finding that in the most negative sense possible. That, I believe, is the biggest thing that we need to stop. That combined with our media of aggression and aggrievance, where both sides have the complete lack of ability to see the middle or see calm reasoning. And there are, in my opinion, there are elements out there that are purposefully throwing gas on the fire to make it worse and worse and worse. And I don't think they care about the side. I just think they want to throw gas on the fire. They just they just want to watch the world burn, as people would say. They want to break apart democracy. They want to break apart the country. They want to split us. And right now we're really split. We have divisions in religion, divisions in politics. We look at the other and we see a whole lot of wrong. You know, Democrats look at Republicans and see racists. Republicans and look at Democrats and see baby killers or groomers, whatever the hell that's a, that's about. The 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 extremes suck in all the oxygen and don't allow any actual calm, rational discourse to happen. And I think that we need to take a step and realize that. The one common source that really seems to bind us together is that pain. That underneath all of the aggression and the fighting and xenophobia on both sides, xenophobia just means fear of the other. It just means that you're looking at that person with a, a atavistic reaction. You want to get it away from you. You want it to be over with. That we need to get over that. We need we need to move past that as a people. <clears throat> anyway kind of rambling here at the end but I just I think that we need to notice that the pain that we're all in is what binds us I've had similar conversations with Republicans and Democrats and atheists and Christians and every stripe every every walk of life any everybody out there every every people from every kind of culture and at the bottom of it, the conversations are the same. Whether it's, like I always say in my interviews, whether it's the model that's throwing up in her car before the model photo shoot, whether it's the kid in South Africa who's getting bullied in the streets, whether it's the kid in Norway who is alone in his bedroom and is stuck on the internet and is finding only solace in groups that are telling him to be terrible. That underlying sense of self-worthlessness and self-loathing and isolation I think that's the only thing that binds us together. If we can figure out a way to, to acknowledge that that bit of humanity makes us all human, 
maybe that might be the one thing that could pull us together as a people. So I just, if you know someone in your world today that is on that edge of that dark, you think is getting pushed into the extreme, try to pull them back and remind them that, that the world really isn't as scary as it looks. That people at the heart of it are actually good. Give love to the ones that you feel deserve it the least. They need it the most. I love you guys. You are not alone.